What is something common that has never happened to you? Never met a stray kitten that was begging for me to take it home. All of the strays I see are on their way somewhere important. Never gotten poison ivy. Why doesn't anyone offer me free drugs? LOL. Seriously. The D.A.R.E. program is full of liars. I've never fainted. Oh it's the worst. Such a horrible feeling. I've only actually fainted twice. But I've felt like I was going to weigh more times. I've never met any of these hot single women in my area that seem so abundant. I have never had strep throat. Just swallow a handful of razor blades and needles. Same effect. Have you ever thrown up with strep? The pain was so bad I just puked again. That's actually how I know it's gone. I throw up at the very end of strep every time. I will be running 101 temp feeling miserable, and it is a horrid vomit, but as soon as I do my temp is gone. My sore throat is gone. And I'm feeling so much better. I don't know if it's common, but a friend expressed surprise when I told him I had never, ever seen hail in person. I know of it, of course, and seen videos and the like, but I've never experienced it myself. Edit to answer a frequent question. I lived most my life in Virginia, and now live in Delaware. Said friend also lives in Virginia, though further south than I. I remember seeing it 5 days after buying my first new car, when it fell on and entered my first new car. Did not even have the permanent license plates, but I had hail damage. Common here in TX. Some people will even wait for the hail sale brand new cars, with hail damage sold at a pretty big discount. I'm almost 29, and I've never been stung by a bee wasp hornet etc. Me neither. So maybe the once I get stung, I will discover that I'm allergic to them. This happened recently to my boss's friend. Hadn't been stung since he was a kid. Mid 40s. Got stung by a wasp last month and duck and died. What a way to go. Damn. I guess I'll just avoid wasps for the rest of my life. Never had to go to the hospital. I go every day. I work there. Rat. Do you get free stethoscopes? You know. They do have incredibly cheap disposable stethoscopes to be used on patients in isolation. I guess you could take a hopefully sanitized used one after a patient was discharged, since it was going to be thrown away anyway. Having said that, EWW. AHHES. The isolation stethoscopes. Fisher Price makes ones of similar quality. Never heard I love you, or sorry from my parents. I'm close to 40. Do you want a hug? I do. Thank you. Everyone in this thread is jinxing themselves. For some that's a good thing. Never had a girlfriend. Tomorrow's edit you guys I actually got one. Tomorrow's edit actually realized I'm gay. I have a boyfriend now. Any natural disaster and snowball fights. As someone from Kansas. I would highly recommend against a snowball fight during a tornado. No. They're so cool. You can hit yourself if the angle is right. If the angle is right. Step 1 face into the wind. Step 2 throw snowball. Despite living in Scotland and being a white, heterosexual male, I've never played a round of golf. Never had a cavity. My dentist told me different people have different kinds of bacteria prevalent in their mouths. Some have bacteria that tends to form cavities. Some have bacteria that tends to present gum disease. For instance, I'm in the latter category and have also never had a cavity. So yay. I've never had a cavity despite not taking care of my teeth super well for a couple years. On the flip side, even now that I do take care of my teeth diligently my breath stinks super easily. Like I need to use mouthwash or have eaten, drank water in the last 30 minutes or it starts to get bad. Do you still have tonsils? If you get tonsil stones bits of food and bacteria that get stuck in the cavities of tonsils, that could be causing problems. Yeah I do have mine still. It could be tonsil stones now, but I asked my dentist once, and they didn't think so. Thought it was more likely my digestive system mouth flora. 48 and never tried a cigarette. 64 and never smoked anything. Though I'd like to try smoking a brisket sometime. Don't start. 
It turns into a horrible habit and soon all your dreams are filled with smoked meat. You're just forever thinking about the next time you get to have that smoked meat again. Smoked steaks are one of my favorites. One night stand or FWB relationship. I tried to have a casual FWB. We're married now. I tried to have a casual FWB. I have an STD now. I tried to have a casual FWB. I have an STD now. But we are married. Being invited to a wedding. Everyone always tells me about how I'm so lucky to not go to weddings because of how much they end up spending to attend them, but I'd like to experience it at least once in my life. Apparently I'm not close enough to anyone to be invited. During COVID a lot of friends got married in small ceremonies. Understandable. But I wish that I got more chances to attend bigger weddings because they seem fun. My family is from a culture where weddings are big 100 plus invite everyone affairs. So I'd love to participate in more of those. I'm 25 and I've never gone on a date with anyone. I've never been pulled over or gotten a ticket. I bragged about this a couple months ago then got a ticket a week later. Careful out there man. I've never been to a funeral. You're either very young or very lucky frequency of funerals grows exponentially as you age. I'm 30 and I've been to several funerals. But all of them were when I was a child. They come in waves by generation. I'm in my 40s and just starting to see funerals pop up again for family friends my parents age. I've never gotten the nosebleed. Ever. When I was in school I got it 12 times in a month. Got operated on and turns out a growing bone in the nose, had pressed against a nerve, alive because of modern science, would have died for such a simple reason in ancient times. That's an interesting story. I have chronic nosebleeds. Sometimes I'll only get one in a month. Sometimes I'll get six in a week. Been like this for as long as I remember. Saw a doctor once about it when I had one that took an unusual amount of time to clot and they said it's not terribly unusual in people my age around 19 at the time, but not much has changed since then. Maybe I'll bring it up at my next annual just in case. I've never caught a fish. We would sound hours a day fishing as a kid in summer and for some reason I never caught one. As an adult people have taken me fishing. Determined to help me catch a fish. Nothing. I'm 40. It will never happen. The real fish was the friends you made along the way. Brain freeze from ice cream. Etc. I have no idea what you're la talking about. I don't get brain freezes. I get throat freezes. And they hurt. Anytime anyone has ever said brain freeze. I just assumed they meant the same thing as what I felt. And it was a misnomer. I only recently discovered people actually feel a brain freeze in their head. I've never experienced that. Just those damn throat freezes. Married 36 years. I'm almost the only person I know that's never been divorced. My wife has been divorced three times. This sounds like an immovable object unstoppable force situation. Hope your streak wins out over your wife's. What happens when a serial divorcee meets an undivorceable man? She's been divorced three times. I really thought this one would work out. Susie. He didn't speak English. Yeah but did you see those abs? He's the only person he knows that's never been divorced. You know they say a lobster's mate for life. Trust me Pete. Even lobsters have more exciting love lives than you. Drew Barrymore is Susie. Well now there's a guy I wouldn't mind divorcing in a few years. Adam Sandler is Pete. We well hello. Miss Lady. Might me might I offer you a lobster roll. An immovable farce. Coming soon to Netflix. I'm 30 years old, and I've never had a wet dream. Edit boy I tell ya, if I knew my inbox was gonna get flooded with dudes telling me about their nocturnal emissions I don't think I would've left a comment. Yeah. Whenever I have sexy dreams I always wake up before the good part. I don't even cheat on my wife in my dreams. Sorry, Natalie Dorma. That wouldn't be right. Wakes up. Damn it. Winning a Cards Against Humanity game. Look at you with enough friends to actually play. Being called for jury duty. I'm 40 and my dad and my sister have both been called. But not me. It seems there's two types of jury duty notices. There are people like you. Who either never receive one or rarely receive them. 
Then there's people like me who receives a jury duty notice every time I'm eligible. In my city they're allowed to call you once a year. Guess who's sitting in a courthouse right now for my annual jury duty. Wow. I've made it to 35 without being called once. I can't imagine what a pain in the ass it must be to do it yearly. I'm 24 and I've been summoned 3 times for jury duty since turning 18. I was able to get dismissed from all 3 by virtue of being a college student. But still. Long term relationship. Same. I've always been somewhat of a loner. But lately I've been looking to not be alone. Covered hasn't helped that. Though. Edit loner. Not loner. I don't loan people anything. Can you give me a loan? My credit history is impeccable. And that's because no one has given me a loan before. Sorry. Can't give you a loan. I would. But I'm saving up to buy me a new car. Edit O. Yeah. My typo. I'll have to fix that. The fact that you answered with such civility without realizing what they meant is amazing. Never made a post on Reddit or other social media after being on Reddit for 9 plus years now. Kissed by a woman. Username checks out. I've never eaten a Twinkie. Edit damn. I didn't know Yael was so passionate about Twinkies. Feeling loved by someone other than your family. Hang in there General Kinobahi. I read that like Michael Jackson. I'm 57 and nobody has ever told me that they are LGBTQ. I have some gay and lesbian friends. But I only know it because somebody else told me. I'm a grizzly. Old. Redneck looking methodical so maybe people think I'd be hateful. Also. I don't talk about sex, so it isn't likely to come up in a conversation. I don't think most people outright announce it, unless they're just coming out. I've had friends tell me they were LGBTQ when they were just coming out. But people I've met that were already out, I only found out because they offhandedly mentioned their same-sex partner. Never rented a home or had a roommate. Roommates can either be life-changing or just, ugh, so really. Maybe you're winning in this case. I've never had to serve on a jury. I'm terrified of the responsibility you may hold in deciding a stranger's fate. So touch wood I can keep the streak up. I haven't either. Made it to two jury selections. Both of which were capital murder cases. The last one I'm especially glad they didn't pick me for. As it involved some depraved individual who had already been found guilty of murdering his 5 year old son. And the trial I would have been a part of was to determine if a special circumstance of torture could be added. And then we would have had to decide if the death penalty should be invoked. I've heard some of those types of trials can duck you up for life. I've never smoked a cigarette or been sent a dick pic edit. And I don't want any. Thanks. Edit 2 mistakes were made by admitting that to the internet. But any pics will remain scrolled on pick and will never be opened. Is it a dick? Is it a cigarette? We will never know. I'm sorry for what's likely going to happen to your inbox. It's probably full of cigarettes right now. Full of butts. I never learned how to drive. I'm 30. 32 and same. I legally can't due to how bad my eyes are. 39 straight male. And I've never been to a strip club. Holy schnickers there was a lot of comments on this. I've been invited to go to a strip club many times. Just doesn't seem appealing. Me neither. Don't see the point in giving myself blue balls. Going home frustrated. Knocking one out then crying myself to sleep. Edit a lot of people here saying you can get extras. Yeah good point but for me. It's a lot of money for 37 seconds. And I'd still cry myself to sleep. Read a great reddit quote from someone's grandpa it'll put lead in your pencil. Sure. But you've got no one to write a letter to. I'm 41 and haven't died yet. What's your secret? Staying alive. RRRR. Never been on a date. I'm 34. I'm in my 40s and I have never had anyone invite me out for drinks. If by any chance you live around Puget Sound. I'm going wine tasting at 3pm today. You are invited. Oh how I wish. Would take quite a bit of convincing to get the wife to cross the country for any reason. Though. Oh well. If you ever do find yourself in the area, my wife and I will join you for a few drinks. Same. Need to go find a wife first though. 
I never got a tattoo. Same. I think tattoos on other people are cool. But I've never been interested in getting one myself. I've got tattoos. Got them all between 18 and 22. There was a time where I wanted to be fully sleeved, but I kinda lost interest in that as my financial priorities changed, but can't say I regret any of the work I've got. I'm 27, and I've never been drunk. I'm 28, and for the millionth time I'm going to try and get sober on Sunday. I wish I never started drinking. Edit I forgot I'm 29 lol. I never had a pen explode or leak in my hand. Had a relationship. I don't understand how they're so common. It's hard to imagine having one person who you like so much that you want them around all the time and make you happier and make your life better. That feels so foreign to me. Edit yes. I know it's not 24, 7 being with the same person and you're allowed alone time or time with other people. But even to have someone that you want to be so involved with in your life just is really hard for me to understand. 39 and have never had any children. I'm a 35 year old woman with no kids. I have never wanted children. Nor do I plan on having them. It's okay if you don't have them. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. People don't understand why I don't want them. Personal choice people. And no. Finding the right guy won't make me want them. My right guy will feel the same as me. 24 and never broken a bone or had any fractures. 41 checking in here. Nothing broken yet. Edit lol. And now my number one comment is about being too lame and boring to break a bone. Gee. Thanks reddit.